Hello. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Iman Jones. Welcome back. Korean Air Practical Aviation Expressions, or PAE, as we sometimes say. Uh, again, we're looking at Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Part 6, Charlie, this time, okay? And going to be in a whole new dimension of phrases and idioms for the day. As always, course goals will always be the same throughout the whole entire course to improve overall English proficiency and to help you better understand native English speaking ATC. With that in mind, our course will follow, follow the same format as before. I will go over the phrases uh, throughout. You will have a chance to review with the Can You Remember section and then we'll do a multiple choice quiz at the end. And, um, before and after those, you will again listen to the role plays of aviation uh, conversation between pilot ATC or other uh, uh, airline personnel. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our overview of what today's lesson will cover. Okay, first, we're going to go ahead and let's have a listen. I want you to listen to uh, ATC and pilot conversation taking place uh, before taxi or possibly in the air this time. Korean Air 1215, what is your status? Incheon Tower, there was an abrupt change in wind direction between 1,000 and 5,000 feet on final. Breaking action was minimum overall, except the mid was poor. Korean Air 1215, say again, what is your status? You were momentarily cut off. Incheon Tower, breaking action was medium overall, except the mid was poor. I would like to point out, we have hot brakes. We are unable to taxi with our own power. As a precaution, have ground and emergency vehicles standing by. Korean Air 1215. Korean Air 1215, affirmative. We've been informed that emergency vehicles are on the way. Roger that, Korean Air 1215. Fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Okay, remember, so I want you to be able to distinguish between the role play uh, where you're at, or if you're in the air or on the ground. So here we have landings and after landings. Landings and after landings. Ah, okay. Our first phrase, as a precaution, abrupt change in the direction, overall, been informed that with our own power point out you were cut off momentarily uh, i'm sure you'll see some of these phrases are self-explanatory but i will do my best to help you get, extend your awareness of possible other ways that these phrases may be used throughout the atc community okay so let's go ahead and get started our first expression as a precaution. As a precaution, repeat what you hear in a pronunciation, pronunciation practice. As a precaution. As a precaution. As a precaution. Okay? Precaution, not precaution. As a precaution. Okay? It just flows together. All right. Literal meaning of as a precaution would be Protection, safeguard, a safety measure. So a precaution can be, you know, you're pre-protecting yourself. You're putting in safeguards or safety measures to help you along uh, in a different circumstances. And I'll give you uh, a sentence and how it can be used. Okay, so within a sentence, as a precaution, ground emergency vehicles had been notified and are standing by. As a precaution, ground emergency vehicles have been notified and are standing by. Good. So the literal expression of as a precaution, ground emergency vehicles have been notified and are standing by, would be as a safety measure, ground emergency vehicles have been notified and are standing by. So remember, as you know, you're being really careful here and taking necessary precautions and safety measures to ensure that ground personnel 
are waiting for you and standing by in case of an emergency. So as a precaution, as a safety measure, ground emergency vehicles have been notified and are standing by. Good. So in a different sentence, as a precaution, the seat belt sign was turned on. Of course, this could be for many reasons, right? Landing, taking off, uh, turbulence, right? As a precaution, the seat belt sign was turned on. As a precaution, the seat belt sign was turned on. As an additional safety measure for your protection, as the other uh, literal meanings uh, could be used in this sentence, right? For your protection, as a safety measure, the seat belt sign was turned on. All right, our second expression for today, abrupt change in the direction. Abrupt change in the direction. So, pronunciation practice would be abrupt change in the wind direction. Abrupt change in the wind direction. Okay, and uh, what is abrupt? Literal meaning, abrupt, okay? Change in the wind direction. And that's the word we want to focus on because we all know changing in wind direction, but what is abrupt change in wind direction? It would be sudden, unexpected, quick, hasty, okay? This is how you can relate to the word abrupt. So there was a sudden change in the wind direction, okay? But it's unexpected, quick, or hasty, right? Abrupt, okay? An abrupt change in the wind direction, good. Okay, so in a sentence, there was abrupt change in the wind direction between 1,000 feet and 5,000 feet on final. There was an abrupt change in the wind direction between 1,000 feet and 5,000 feet on final. All right? Good. All right, literal expression. An unexpected wind change caused the pilot to lose control of the aircraft. Unexpected wind change caused the pilot to lose control of the aircraft. Or sudden or abrupt wind change caused the pilot to lose control of the aircraft. All right, so in a different sentence, abrupt change in the wind direction caused the pilot to abort his landing. You might somehow maybe relate this to wind shear or turbulence in this case. Abrupt change in the wind direction caused the pilot to abort his landing, okay? An unexpected or sudden change in the wind direction caused the pilot to abort his landing. Good. Our third expression. We're uh, moving right along, halfway there already. Overall, overall. Okay, repeat what you hear. Overall, overall. Okay, sometimes I I uh, forget how to pronounce that a little bit. <laughs> Literal meaning. Uh, okay, overall. And that would be what? Total, entire, comprehensive, inclusive. Okay, and I'll get into more detail on how these words are used interchangeably with the word overall. Okay, so, so for instance, uh, the overall performance of today's lessons, the total performance of today's lesson. Within a sentence, breaking action was medium overall except for the mid was poor. Breaking action was medium overall except for the mid was poor. Okay? And breaking action was medium overall except for the mid was poor would be, literal expression, the entire performance of the new aircraft was very good. The entire performance of the new aircraft was very good. 